So the fourth schedule that we're going to put together is the schedule of cash disbursements for expenses. And so it's just the cash paid. So I want to know any other costs that I have and which month we're going to pay it in. So I'm going to call this Bryn Inc. And this is going to be my schedule of cash disbursements for operating expenses. And this is for the quarter ended March 31st. And we only need January, February, and March on this one. Okay, so what I need to do is figure out any other expense that's being paid. So if I look in part, if I, if I look in part E, it says monthly expenses are budgeted as follows. Salaries and wages. Those are 27,000 per month. So I'm going to put that in, 27,000. Then I have advertising at 70,000 per month. Then shipping is 5% of sales. So these are called variable costs. When they go up and down with sales, then they're variable. When it's fixed, it's the same no matter what. That's also called a fixed cost. So it says 5%. So I'm just going to put the 5% there. And if I go up to my sales, so that's just my first number here, my total sales, 400,000. And then I multiply that by 5%. That gives me 20,000. And I'm just going to lock the 5% down. So put a dollar sign in front of that. So when I drag this formula over, then it's going to take February sales by 5%, March's sales by 5%. And other expenses. That's 3%. And I'm assuming that they're being paid in the same month that they're incurred. So there are some basic assumptions we have to make in order to make our budgets work. And remember, these are just the numbers I think they're going to be. I don't really know if it's going to end up that way. So 400,000 times by, oops, put too many stars in there, times by 3%. Now, one thing that might be a little ooh, one thing that might be a little bit tricky is sometimes the other expenses may include depreciation, and depreciation is a non-cash item, so we'd have to remove it from our equation because this is also going on the cash budget. So I'm just going to total everything up. So total cash disbursements for operating expenses. So just summing those together and then I'll sum it across and then also sum it down. We'll double underline this. We're going to make it pretty. And dollar signs at the beginning and at the end. Okay. 
So our cash disbursements for operating expenses is complete.